Imagine living at the bottom of the ocean. So deep that sunlight can reach. The pressure could crush your car. And the temperature stays just above freezing. Now imagine doing it for an entire month. That sounds like a science fiction, right? But China is turning this into a reality. By the year 2030, China plans to open the doors or hatches to the world's first deep sea space station. A research facility 6,650 feet below the surface of the South China Sea. Now, this is not just some random bold project. It could change how we understand our oceans and even how we power the world. At the heart of this plan is a futuristic underwater station designed to house up to six scientists at a time. Think of it like the International Space Station. These scientists will live and work at these stations for around 30 days at a stretch supported by a high-tech life support system that keeps them safe from the crushing pressure outside. The station would be connected to a whole network of undersea robots, surface ships, and seabed observatories. Together, they'll form a four-dimensional monitoring system, tracking everything from deep sea life to underwater earthquakes. But why the South China Sea? The South China Sea is one of the most contested areas in the world. Taiwan, the Philippines, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Brunei dispute China's claims of the region. But China, on the other hand, isn't backing down. By placing its deep sea station here, China is actually making a powerful statement about its presence and its future in these waters. But keeping the politics aside, there's another reason why China chose this particular location. I mean, resources. Beneath the South China Sea lie vast fields of something called methane hydrates. These are ice-like chunks filled with natural gas and they might just be the future of energy. Some estimates say that this particular region holds around 70 billion tons of this fuel. Now, that's about half of China's entire oil and gas reserve. That's not all. The seafloor here is also rich in rare minerals like cobalt and nickel. These are the same materials that are used in smartphones, electric car batteries, and clean energy tech. I mean, tapping into these resources could be a game changer, not just for China, but for the entire world. The ocean is Earth's final frontier. We know more about outdoor space than we do about the deepest parts of the sea. I mean, it's just less than 10% of the ocean that's been mapped. That means there's a whole world down there. Full of mysteries. I mean, strange creatures, unseen ecosystems, and natural forces we barely understand. One particular area of interest is called cold seeps. Cracks in the sea flow where gases like methane escape into the ocean. These places are surprisingly full of life despite its darkness and pressure. Studying cold seeps could teach us about how life survives in extreme conditions and how those gases might affect our climate. But let's be clear, exploring the deep sea isn't easy. In fact, some scientists say it's harder than going into space. I mean, at those depths, there's no sunlight. It's like having 50 jumbo jets pressing hard down on your body. That's why advanced technology and courage is needed to even attempt such a mission. China's underwater deep sea space station is part of a global push towards understanding and exploring our oceans. The US is also working on its own deep sea habitat near the Caribbean island of Curacao. Now, this is led by an ocean explorer called Fabian Calcio. Now, his vision is somewhat different. It is to create a network of underwater stations all around the world, a kind of smart ocean full of sensors, labs, and living spaces. These projects aren't about just science anymore. They are also about survival. Oceans help regulate our planet's temperature. They store carbon, move heat, and support life everywhere on Earth. By studying them more deeply, we can better protect the environment, prepare for climate change, and discover resources that could fuel the future. Now, China's deep sea space station might be years away from completion, but I would say the message is quite clear. The race to explore the ocean is on. I mean, it's no longer just about racing the stars. Now, it's also about understanding the world beneath our feet, where darkness reigns, pressure crushes and secrets from the Earth's ancient past might still be waiting to be uncovered. At the end, this isn't just China's story, it's humanity's. And the next chapter is being written in the cold, dark depths of the ocean. Because while the sky may be the limit, the ocean, that's just the beginning.